I'm Cece Ramsey and I teach at a small private Christian liberal arts university in Nashville, Tennessee. It's called Lipscomb University. Yeah, um, most recently I've done two conversations of 30 minutes each. Yeah. And I sometimes they fall at midterm and final. Ideally, I'd like them to fall at, you know, a third of the way and then two thirds of the way so that it's a little bit earlier in the semester. It kind of depends on, I allow students two weeks to complete the assignment because it's on their own time outside of class. We've been using Talk Abroad at least once a semester in French 1 through French Intermediate. So like that's four semesters of courses in that sequence. And um, students have loved it. We enjoy it. And I've never used it as an assessment. It's more of a tool, a practice tool for students during the semester. Personally, I use it as a motivation piece because I find it, it gives them somewhere new to test out their skills and it brings them back to the classroom more motivated to learn whatever points they were struggling with when they were finally face to face with a native speaker. Yeah, I do. I have them do a brainstorming in class with me. If it's topical, then we practice conversations about that topic in small groups and in whatever lesson planning I'm doing up until that point. Um, like for an example, I have done in that intermediate class, a topic on film because they watch short films and they learn to describe using past and present tense. And so we have this whole unit on film and the vocab is fresh and then they have small groups. And then the final component is that talk abroad. So it's, it's scaffolded along the way. Uh, in terms of a worksheet, there is a brainstorm, just thinking through questions you wanna ask, comments you wanna raise, that kind of make some bullet points of where you want to take the conversation. Oh, and thinking through the vocab that might be useful. Well, I guess it is, it's a topic or a presentation piece. So uh -huh. I like to use students choose three photos from their life, any of their choosing. It can be personal or it can be paintings they enjoy. And then they present them to their partner and the partner's asked to do the same back. So I like to do that as their first talk abroad because they talk about things that they like and they choose and they seem more familiar with that. And it's also a pretty simple self-presentation vocabulary. So it's kind of the easier way in, um, doing more like of a French 101, but they're an intermediate. And so it gives them a bit of confidence. So I usually start with that and then I end with the one that's more topic driven and a little bit more prep work perhaps on the front end. I suppose there's typically a task at hand, whether it's present those photos or uh, talk about this film you've watched and find out what they like. They, they have a goal with the conversation, but I never tell them how long to spend on certain topics or um, specific questions that they have to ask. I've really left it pretty open to curiosity. So after several semesters under my belt, then I introduce an assessment before and after these conversations, where in the after assessment, the students go back and listen to it and they try to answer all these questions like where were you stumbling where did you need to repeat yourself where did your partner seem confused what do you think you might have said that threw them off and as they go back and listen into those different pieces and the second piece of that post assessment kind of reflection i ask them to think about why and what do you want to work on and what do you think your goals need to be and really for students that's the first time i've seen um, very accurate self-assessment of what their strengths and weaknesses are in the language. I think the key advice for me is thinking through the pre and post assignments, especially giving the students a chance to reflect, to um, take notice of where they think they are and self-assess and set goals for next time. I think that reflection piece is really what makes it an academic <laughs> endeavor, especially in higher ed. Um, as opposed to it's great, it's fun, it's a cool thing to do, but a building in the reflection and scaffolding it for them, I think is what really, for me, makes it a part of my curriculum that is very meaningful and contributes to um, their progress with their language wherever they go next. It gives them kind of a, a tool, a toolbox perhaps to use in the future.